Kid, me say you want the feature bed You write books, film, song, I think that's how it ends The way you work, really Them have to respect it, my friend Nah, I beg nobody, no Hello everyone, Jay Mullings from Redmere here, aka Wicked Penman. Today I wanted to talk about, well, something that's been on my mind um, for a couple of weeks actually, I've thought about it. And it's whether artists' work should appear, you know, after they die, then essentially, posthumously. There's been a few singles coming out from artists who have passed away in the last couple of years. Triple X, Nipsey Hussle, Cadet. You know, and it's like, it's got me thinking. I, I'm, con I'm not even conflicted. I, was, I just found it interesting. Um, so in the case of someone like Cadet, he was a Muslim and apparently it's a sin to listen to music anyway. And then if someone dies, the person who died, you're adding to their sins. If they, I think it's if they, they didn't, um, they weren't saved before they die. Or, I, I don't know. I, but yeah. So I was like, well, you know, that kind of got me thinking. Hang on a second. I don't know why I haven't put these on. Let me make sure you can actually hear me. Check, check. One, one, two, one, two. Check, check, check. Yep, you can hear me. And then in the case of Nipsey Hussle, then, you know, a lot of these recordings were, were, were done, and I'm sure they would have been done with a plan to release them around a certain certain amount of time, so on and so forth. So it's not like it's planned death. These are, these are unexpected deaths. So I guess I understand. I guess where, where it gets starts to get strange and muddy is when there is no benefit to the family and, and who's left behind, I suppose. Um, you know, someone just using it for a rise to kind of, to push their star a bit forwards and that I'm not cool with, but you know what I mean? If it, if it goes to helping the family, I guess I understand. Not only do I understand, I guess I support that. Um, I guess I do support that. But yeah, I also thought it was interesting and it's like, I, I started to say to myself whether I would like my music or in you know let's say i got to a position where i was you know um a sought after artist um on my way up done lots of collabs lots of features lots of recordings that have never seen the light of day if i was to pass away what would i want done with them and truthfully yeah i guess part of me says if it could help my family release the music if it's Someone that I worked on a song, there's someone I really, really rocked with, and then we worked on a song, and then again released the song. Um, so I guess not even like I don't have to guess. I'm for it if the purpose is genuine and if it helps. If it's just someone trying to, that I wouldn't be cool with. Um, and I guess on the film side of things as well, it's the whole hologramming, you know, hologramming people or using. Um, you know, there's face transfer software to, to keep them in, in films artificially after they're dead. Again, I don't know how, how I would feel about my likeness being used after I'm gone. Like, that's where it gets kind of strange. And I know it's quite a morbid topic, but it, it's been that you got, you got to recognize I've seen so many releases come out during the last how many weeks that were like this. So it kind of got me thinking. You know, it got me thinking now, oh, okay. Like, how would I feel if I was the person whose work was being, you know, whose voice was being used after it's gone and so on and so forth. So interesting, very, very interesting stuff. Um, I'd be, I'd, I'd love to hear what, what you guys think. If you're for it and if you're against it, if you're against it, why? Would you be for it in certain circumstances but against it in others or are you just all the way for it and all the way or all, all the way against it that, that would be the, the, the things i'd like to know uh so you know leave 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 your your, your opinion in the comments um, all opinions are welcome like i said just keep it respectful keep it classy but yeah written mirror jay mullings wicked pen man and i'm out oh yeah. <laughs> i do this all the time please like comment subscribe if you're on the Written Mirror channel, please subscribe to the One Wicked Penman channel. If you're on the One Wicked Penman channel and you see this, please subscribe to the Written Mirror channel as well. I don't always duplicate content, so that's why I'm like, I'm trying to keep the Written Mirror content for more kind of film 
writing, creativity in general. And I want to keep the Wicked Pen, one Wicked Pen Man page for more music, uh, behind the scenes stuff, thoughts about music, thoughts about where, where the industry is going, so on and so forth. They don't always overlap. So that's kind of where I want you to follow both pages, please. That is just a click of a button. Hit that bell. So you can you can know when new content comes out. Yeah. All right. I'm out. <laughs>